Let's go. Yo, what is going on guys? It's me, the ninja reviewer here. And it's time to review my little pony. Friendship is Magic Season 6 Finale. Episodes 25 and episodes 26. Yo. Alright, so getting this one out of the way. Um, also if you can't really tell I am a little bit, you know, a little bit of a cold here and there, but it's still there. But anyways. So, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Season 6, Episodes 25, 26, Season Finale, man. Now, keep in mind, if you do not want to get any spoilers for this video, you can either try to find the first two parts that were aired early in the UK and that was put on YouTube, or, or, well, I don't know, not so much, well, they kind of do have it on YouTube, but it depends, some of them were just taken down or, or just blocked. Or... You can watch on Daily Motion, or you could just wait until this Saturday to get a better quality HD ish 1080p greatness fucking version. So if you want that, then you could just wait till next Saturday. But I couldn't resist. Um, everyone, the grandmother was already giving me hints here and there. Especially one of my favorite villains is coming back, so I was just like, "Fuck it, man, let's go!" And then let's go, man, let's go, fucking chrysalis, oh. Oh, my fucking dick, dude. Yo, 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 yo. <coughs> oh, fuck. No, oh, yeah, man. Fucking chrysalis, man. Yeah. Alright, man. So, let's just get started with this review because. Oh, boy. Yo. This shit was hype. Hype. Yo, alright. So let's just begin with the actual review of this. So, anyways, when it comes to the season finale, oh uh, wow, the the first half when it comes to the episode title to where I'm back again, and it makes sense. So when it comes to the first half, automatic yo, and I'll explain why. The setup for this was actually really nice, especially when it comes to um, the whole setup plot where Chrysalis pretty much had a changeling army already planned out to invade Equestria. And not only that, but Celestia, not once, but twice, this bitch, this fucking bitch, gets owned once again. Once again, proving why Chrysalis is a fucking beast, dude. Yo, she is beast, she is hype-worthy. Goddamn, dude. Alright. So, when it comes to Chrysalis, and when it comes to her plan, I thought that was actually very well done. That was really impressive. And by the way, I do want to get the reviews out, so then, so it is pretty early, and I can just do some other shit, you know, aside. Because, you know, I also got Dragon Ball Super. I have to do that tomorrow, so at least I'll just get this out of the way. So, my final last... Man, that kind of sucks, man. Final last pony review of the year. Until next year, till we get Season 7. But we're all still moving on. So, basically, the whole plot is that Starlight pretty much gets invited to, uh this uh, festival that's going on in her old village and basically she feels really uncomfortable by the way I really like the whole derpy cameo that we got at the beginning too where I was like oh shit out of nowhere derpy and I thought she was gonna have a bigger role in this episode I mean she did have one in slice of life but I guess the creators just kind of brush it off the side for now at least sad anyways though but after that though we find out that she was a bit nervous and she doesn't know how to react she doesn't know like how to you know, FaceTime. At first time where she just went alone to present herself, you know, to see if she was able to fit in back with her village, you know, we all thought that in reality they were just like, no, fuck you, you were a communist Hitler slash Dio Brando Zabaldo fucking freak, and we do not fucking want you back in our village, bitch. Like, no. It's just not cool. We're not going to forgive you for that. Get out of our face. And basically, while she was getting all that hate, Nightmare Mo I mean Luna. Oh, man, that would have been... Mm, that would have been so cool. But anyway, uh, uh, Luna comes in and she pretty much just, you know, explained to her that, you know, 
you gotta sometimes, you know, live with the regret that you've done, you know, it's not that easy, you know, like, with her, you know, how she was banished of all the shit she's done as Nightmare Moon, and after what happened during the last season as well, with Sleepless in Ponyville, when she had uh, the Manticore, I'm not the Man, was it? no, not the Manticore, um, the Se Se uh, Secubus, I think it was called, the uh, Secubus, whatever the hell it was called, the, or Cer Cerebus, whatever the fuck it was called, that fucking dream shit. From last season, shit. Whatever. So, anyways, one of my favorite episodes, by the way. So, when it comes to that, basically, you know, she knows how it feels, how it's not easy to get the acceptance that you want. So, basically, while that dream pretty much happened, Twilight says, like, why don't you just take a frame with you in order to actually feel more comfortable? In reality, she was talking about herself, but she was like, you know what, let me just bring my new best uh, butt buddy, I mean, my buddy, uh, BFF, butt sex buddy for life. Yeah, I ship it. Anyways, when it comes to Trixie, the great and powerful, no, no, the great and powerful Trixie actually comes back. Mad hype right there, and I love the setup to the team that Starlight gathers in order to actually defeat Chrysalis. But before we get to that, pretty much, it still didn't work out too well because there were so many things that, you know, they wanted advice on. They were just, like, gathering up in her face, and she wasn't really comfortable. But Trixie, at least, was a really great best friend to her, and actually got her back to teleport out of here when things got a little hairy. And scary. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Anyways, so what happens is, is that, you know, um, what happens is, basically, you know, she pretty much just goes without a hitch, and it fails. And then she knows when she goes back to Ponyville, everybody was acting strange. Like, stranger than normal, especially Pinkie Pie. Like, they were all out of character. And, of course, Luna actually reveals during the night time, while they were going back to the village, that this indeed was the work of the Changelings. And, basically, uh, so she had to pretty much uh, get Trixie to actually help her out because there was no other pony. Because everybody was acting strange, everybody was acting all out of character. And, yeah. So, it was a very tough situation for Starlight right there, too. The way she was there trying to face most of the main six again. Anyway, so we found out that the Changeling army was indeed behind us the scenes entire time. So, yeah. Very great strategist, Chrysalis. I love her for that, man. Mmm. Top tier villain right there. And, of course, I love the team that we got for Starlight. So, we basically get Thorax because he also knows about what's going on. So, he conveniently meets up with Trixie and Starlight. And <laughs> what I really like was actually really funny is that Trixie was just like freaking the fuck out while he was seeing the changes. Like, get this fucking thing away from me, please. Like, literally. Oh yeah, another funny scene I forgot to mention too. Sorry if I'm sidetracking here. At the very beginning where it's like where Trixie was like, you know, trying to show off uh, against Twilight about being a really great friend. And Twilight had that look like I want to cut this bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I couldn't help it though. It was, just, it was so funny. Like, the, the face in general. God damn, man. She is still not on the greatest terms with Trixie from like what I've seen. Still not 100% trustworthy. Yeah, Discord is how. But speaking of which, Discord comes in also and pretty much finds out when you fuck with his waifu, the triggerness is real. The triggerness is real. It was on that moment, that day, Chrysalis fucked off. And I'm like, yo! <laughs> so all you people who are saying, you know, hey man, the Celestia and Discord ships, man. No, fuck those ships, man. Fuck those ships. Those ships are long, sailed down the tubes. And now it's basically, this confirms that it's definitely Fluttershy and Discord. Because Discord will do anything at the ends of the earth to get Fluttershy back. When he heard that Fluttershy was being taken, and as a um, cocoon and imprisonment of the Changing Army, he was fucking triggered. The Troll King, right? The fucking Troll King of MLP getting triggered by something like that. Goes to show you how much he's changed, but in a really more awesome and... Oh my god. Bizarre way. Like, I love... Man, Discord's Redemption gets even better and better, man. I love it, yo. Waifu material, man. When you fuck with his waifu... The triggerness, man. The triggerness is too fucking real, man. It, it's too real. You're not ready for that hardcore shit, man. And then finally, we go to Chrysalis's castle, and that's where the first part ends. So now, with the second part of the episode, we find out that uh, pretty much the only the changelings are the ones that can actually have magic in that territory. But everybody else 
the magic is pretty much taken away. No, your magic is pretty much useless. Pretty much. Muna, 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 muna. And basically because of that, you can't really use your own magic. Only the changers can use the magic in that territory. And, you know, it's actually pretty funny. Discord really hates walking. That's his thing. He's like, I haven't walked in a thousand years, man. This dude, the troll king can just flip, snap his fingers and do fucking magic and shit. Meanwhile, like, when he's, like, playing, he can't really do as much. But he can still be fucking awesome. And trollish. And savage. Especially Trixie. I like the way that Trixie and him are bickering back and forth, which I thought was actually pretty funny. Anyways. So when they got in there, they actually pretty much had to plan their strategy in order to actually, you know, find their entrance. Because, of course, Thorax pretty much knows it. And what happens is that the changings also deceive some of the characters. Like Discord. Discord pretty much gets tricked. By basically, you know, seeing a whole bunch, seeing a Fluttershy stuck with her tail in the rock. But he's not stupid. He knows it's not really Fluttershy. But then, when you send a whole bunch of them dressed up, oh man, it's turned to Fluttershy. Ooh, that's not good. Shit. He's like, shh. Yeah. Especially with no magic. So it's like, yep. Nah, it's like, take me away. Just take me away. We're not even with my waifu. And then basically, they were not going to really get deceived by the changing discord and basically they got, you know, they didn't really get played out for fools. So they basically were not stupid. So basically when that was going on while they split up, we see that Trixie and, you know, Trixie and Thorax pretty much, no, Trixie and Starlight pretty much find their own paths to split up, especially Thorax. And Starlight actually, yeah. So basically what happens is that Starlight actually, Starlight and Thorax plan a way in order to distract Chrysalis by Thorax being the bait and actually getting, you know, kidnapped, you know, in the hive. The hive. Yo, the hive is really important, man. I love these hives. I love the cocoons. The atmosphere was actually really dark and gloomy, just the way it really fits for, uh, for Chrysalis. So that was actually really top tier. So then after that, we see that pretty much that while he was being, she was being sent to the hive, we see the main bitch of the hour, man. And she did some alien shit with her fucking neck twisting and shit. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. And or some exorcist shit. Well, that makes with some exorcist shit. So anyways, yeah. So when it comes to that, though, while, you know, that was going on, we see that while she got deceived, Starlight was there in order to actually save the rest, like the princesses. Even the baby, yes, even the baby was also kidnapped. And I'm thinking, why? She has no really abilities right now. Sunburst pretty much did a fucking goddamn Naruto, sealing the nine tail fox. She he sealed up in her fucking powers, dude. So it's like, what's the whole point of kidnapping fucking uh, Flurry Art? I mean, of course, the other princesses. Luna, Cadence, Celestia, Luna, and Twilight. But of all the princesses, too, you're also gonna kidnap fucking uh, Flurrier. I find that pretty damn funny. Now, I, I was expecting a cute moment where she would actually give the baby some love, but that didn't really work there. Anyways, so when it comes to that, you know, we see Chrysalis is pissed, and she's like, oh, well, you don't know nothing about our changing army, you don't know anything about. You know the love that we feed on and stuff like that so basically chrysalis was gonna suck the love not suck his you know what basically suck the love out of fucking thorax and what happens is is that she basically is trying to put stalling in her place saying like look you know nothing about us this is how we roll this is how we do things i am the ruler i am the queen bitch bow down to the fucking queen you know bow down fucking take the knee bitch Take the fucking me and starlight is like no and you know you're leading the subject into false reality like look you know love is something that you actually just you know pretty much you know pretty much eat off of you know you gain love you get respect from love and basically love is what you give to others in a good passionate way not just a way of just feeding other ponies and actually sucking all their nutrients and whatnot that's not really the kind of love they really want and basically so basically while that was going on, she pretty much got some of the other love, or most of it. So, Thorax gave most of his love that he pretty much sucked up and gained. And while that was going on, he transformed into this weird Pokemon. No, actually no, correction. I like the design after looking at it like a second or third time. The design, it's, it's still what the fuck. 
But, uh, I don't know. At the same time, I don't know. Like, it's a huge what the fuck, but I didn't mind it too much. It's a huge what the fuck, dude. It's a huge what the fuck. Then all of a sudden, the other changelings turn into these, like, fucking forms as well. Out of, like, random. Like, the way they defeated Chrysalis was just way too fucking quickly. It was like, okay, we're gonna give them all the love, guys. Feel the p -p power of love. And she just got fucking decimated. Well, okay, not really, really decimated. But her entire palace got decimated. And everybody was saved. <coughs> Excuse me. And they all lived happily ever after. Or do they? Basically, Chrysalis gets up from all that explosion. And what happened is that Starlight pretty much did the same kind of reverse psychology on fucking well, Twilight did the Starlight. Basically, showing her the ways. The ways of our Lord and Savior. Just kidding. No, she's just like, fuck your shit, bitch. Surprise, motherfucker. Just be like, bitch, who the fuck you think you are? I am not going to redeem myself on some friendship bullshit. You know, he's got, she's got no time for some Hiromashima bullshit. She don't want no fucking friendship. This is not a fucking fairy tale, bitch. She's like, fuck you. And this is the part I love. Because if she would have got redeemed, I just wouldn't know what to feel. I probably would have given this premiere way fucking points down. For the second half. But luckily that didn't happen. The only points I'm going to give a bit off of it for the second half. Was the fact that Chrysalis was defeated way too quickly. In my own personal opinion. It could have been a lot longer. They sort of. Rushed it in a way. But that's just my opinion. Everything else was fucking great. It was really great. Close to fantastic. Well great great plus. Great great plus up uh, second half. But it was just basically. That part sort of gave it a bit down. It could have been a Nelly Yo, like a Nelly 5 out of 5 amazing episode. It could have been that, and the whole premiere would have been tied with season 5. But, however, though, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it might be my new number 2 favorite. This might be my new number 2 favorite. Yeah, this might be my number 2 favorite premiere I would say like maybe second place and the season four premiere would be third place and number one still holds a candle in my heart will be the season five I mean not the premiere the finale sorry why did I say that thought the finale uh still number one for me I would have to hate to say it a little bit still if I had to choose I mean I, me personally it would still be a tie between season five and season six when it comes to the finales but if I had to choose one, man, it would probably, um, I mean, they're both tied in my opinion. Like, they're both pretty tied. But if I did have to choose a bit more, I would go with, um, probably Season 5 still a bit. Yeah, i go with Season 5. But this is replacing my number 2. My number 2, and it's going to go, yeah, number 2 now will be the Season 6 premiere. So this is next to it. So Season 6... I mean, finale. Fuck, not premiere. Oh, why did I say that? Damn it. I meant the finale. The finale, I would say, is my second favorite finale. It'll be second place. And third favorite would be the season... Now, my new third favorite will be the season four finale. So, yeah. So, my third favorite will be the season four finale. And then this will be my second favorite finale. Yeah, it'll be my second favorite finale. And number one to me, deep in my heart, will still be number one. Will still be the season five finale. Definitely for me, it will definitely be that. But anyways, yeah. So, yeah. um, Yeah, so that's pretty much, you know, the ending there. So, again, I've, that, that would have been serious points off right there. Finally, we go to the end where also, you know, Fluttershy and Discord are reunited, you know, together at last, all shipped. And the way they hugged was adorable. And they were like, you know, let's have a tea party at Fluttershy's place. But before that, though, I forgot to mention, too, that... Celestia says, all right, you guys can take care of your own kind of their changelings. Let you guys decide on what you guys want to do for your kind. So I don't know if he's going to go back to the Crystal Empire. I don't think he is. But he is going to form something or a new nation of changelings or something, which would be pretty interesting. Um, that would be pretty cool, though. I'm not going to lie. That would be a really interesting concept to see. But, I, but, but man, it would be really cool if fucking Amber or... Gildo was in it, man. That would have been shit even more epic right there, man. That shit would have been the most fucking epic. It was still epic regardless. But I would say having those characters 
it would probably be, um, uh, yeah, it would actually be pretty damn awesome. Just to have, like, fucking Amber, man. I really miss Amber. That would have been really cool if we would have had Amber, like, yo, man, dragging United, man. That would be fucking bonkers. Maybe they're going to save that more for, like, when the final days of MLP are going to come out or something, which will be amazing. But anyways, yeah. Um, <clears throat> That's pretty much it. So, yeah. Then at the very end, it turns out that Starlight, you know, she was like, even though I might have done things that, you know, they're still going to pretty much be pressure, you know, they're still going to pretty much still be with me. You know, it's still going to haunt me. It's it's still going to make me regret the things I've done. But, you know, acceptance, you know, it does take time, you know, even if you don't really accept me, you know, that much as of yet, you know, I can't really look, you know what, I can't look back at my past, that's pretty much the thing, you can't look back at your past, you gotta look at the future, and see what the future holds, like, you can't really look back in the past and say, you know what, I don't think they're ever gonna change, and they're still gonna hate me, you never know, the future may change, maybe people can change, you know, hey, it's a big possibility, and that's basically what we got here, and then at the end of the episode, we have Discord and Trixie shenanigans, funny, you know, the flying pigs actually return. Did, I, did, did Discord slap a pig's ass and he slap fucking Trixie's ass? Because that would be weird. But nah, fuck that. She's more into... I'm pretty sure she'll do a lot of that with Fluttershy. If you know what I mean. Anyways, that is pretty much it for that. And this, my friends, wraps up the conclusion to my reviews of Season 6. It was a pretty great ride for what it is. I will give my final review score, but overall, when it comes to season six, um, I would say when it comes to season six, is this going to be my new favorite season? Um, uh, uh, Again, maybe second favorite season, probably, or maybe third, or probably my third favorite season, like, probably. Maybe third favorite season, and might be my third favorite season, maybe number two could still probably be season four, I think. Season four still might be number two, at least, no, maybe, 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 but this could, actually, no, this could possibly be, uh, you know what? You know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what. I think this might be my third favorite season, probably. And then maybe the second place, definitely I think again is still, uh... I think it's definitely still season four. Yeah, I think season four is like still... I think my second favorite, of course, and then season one... I mean, not season one, oh my god. My number one for me would be season five, like still. So again, didn't really hold that much of a candle compared to season five, but it was still a pretty, uh, pretty damn good season. Yeah, pretty damn good season. You know, overall, um, a really great finale. I must say, the finale was great. I really loved the finale. It was so much better, a billion times better compared to the premiere. Way better. The premiere was just, it was just okay. It wasn't horrible. It wasn't bad. It wasn't good. Overall, it was okay. It was an okay premiere. Mm, uh, okay. It was just okay. Not spectacular. The hype wasn't too real. You know what I mean? I mean, it was hype in the trailers, but then, like, when we saw the episode, it wasn't that hype as many people have to be. Yeah, so it was kind of, eh. Wasn't really the most hypest premiere, but the finale did really make up for it, like, leaps and bounds. So, yeah. So that's it. I'm done. So when it comes to the finale i'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5 aka great great plus a little bit five points off because of the way it ended and it could have been a lot better but regardless though it was still a really great 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 finale overall a really great finale overall it's a great finale i enjoyed it it wasn't it was close to being perfect but not perfect enough the ending just could have been a little more better just saying and that's basically it. So I am done. And there was no song. What the fuck? There was no song for this finale. I just realized that. There's no ending credit song, which is like really weird. So I'm like, okay, did they just give up on that? That's like weird. Yeah, it was. There's a whole bunch of weirdness. Season six didn't really have that many songs. Oh, 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 oh I'm, ah, 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 I'm rambling on and on. I'm rambling on and on about this. I will save that for. Another video, which is part two overview of season six, and I will do that in the second overview. But until then, though, again, it was a wild ride for uh, for the uh, 
finale, I mean, or just season in general, but it was a pretty damn good ride, I must say, overall, when it comes to season 6. Maybe not, like, the most greatest season, but it was still pretty damn good, you know, at least for me, anyway. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on this finale. If you have seen it already, if you already seen it, blah, 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 let me know. Or if you just want to wait until... Oh, wait, actually, no, what am I thinking? I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty much sure you probably already saw the episode. Because I pretty much spoiled everything. So it's like, wait, why am I even saying this? Because you probably already saw it. Or you probably just waited until you saw the episode this week next coming weekend instead of watching it early you know that's just the thing anyways that's it so peace soul love chicken grease and the sky's the limit and your manga fans keep supporting what you read and what you watch and bronies bro hope brony on um i don't have my glass with me but cheers um to a pretty damn good season of mlp and cheers for more awesome sauce episodes to come. Hopefully we get to see Chrysalis again because she's not through yet. So who knows? Maybe we'll see Chrysalis come back in a brand new way. Maybe she'll do something incredibly awesome, like a brand new evil plot. Hopefully it's something pretty big, Revelation. Because we do know Season 7 is coming out in spring again, which I will make a probably separate video on that. So, yeah. Anyways, that is it. My final MLP review of the year of season six. Until I do the part two or review, that's going to be it, and that will wrap up my well. It will wrap, it will wrap up my weekly reviews anyway of season six. So this basically wraps up my weekly reviews of season six. I want to thank you guys for joining me on this journey to this season. So I want to thank all of you guys who watched my reviews uh, throughout the whole year. I want to thank you guys so much. Leaving the comment, like, and subscribing as always. Spreading the word on my channel to you brodies out there. I couldn't have done it without you guys. Thank you so much. And also, yeah, we'll see what the uh, the future holds for MLP. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So thank you all so much for watching my reviews. And until we meet again, guys, after my part two review, until we meet again for my weekly reviews, that is, I will see you all in the near future next year 2017 happy new year guys bye bye